Are you still having issues creating beautiful spoon swipe dahlias? Well guys, in today's video, I wanna show you three beautiful painting of dahlia flowers that I've done using ready mix pouring paint, using different brand, ready mix pouring paint by Deco Art and ready mix pouring paint by Artist Love. So you guys don't have to worry about mixing and worry about the consistency of the paint. Check out today's video guys, you're gonna love it. Hello everyone, check out my red dahlia. This is my dried result of my red dahlia from my previous video. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys the dried results, so I promise I will show you in my next video so here it is all dried i hope you love it there is no finish on it no varnish no resin and it is just glowing from that neon red let me know what you guys think about this dried result in the comment section below hello everyone it's camille welcome back to my channel guys i'm so excited that you're here and i have been experimenting because you know what i have been reached out by quite a few viewers and friends from Facebook who they're still having issues um, getting the right consistency of the paint so today I'll be using two different paint brands actually three in this video that I'm doing right now this particular one I'm using three different paint brands as you can see the two previous was Deco Art um, ready to pour then I'm using the color pour and I'm using the black, which is the Artist Love ready to pour paint. So they're all um, paint that's ready to use out of the bottles. You don't have to mix it. And this was my first experiment, guys. And you're gonna see the outcome of this one. I mix the three different um, paint that has different consistency. Um, the black Artist Loft, it's a little bit more, um, it's thinner. And I, I, I really do love the Artist Love paint, but guys, you will see the issue with mixing the Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paint alongside with the Deco Art Ready to Pour. They are different consistency. The Deco Art Ready to Pour and the Color Art paints, they have the same consistency and they, they mix well together. No issues. All right, so here I was just. Um, using two base color that pink it's actually um, fuchsia by Deco Art, and um, I'm, I'll be using the black as the base as well so do check it out guys I am so excited because you know what I I know my viewers are having issues trying to get the right consistency um, you know and I explain that I do mix my paint one part paint to three parts pour medium and I do use the artist love pour medium but guys the pour medium that you have access to use it okay if you want to use glue if you want to use Floetrol it's up to you um, you don't have to use what I use all right um, you just want to get it to that consistency where you know it does leave a mount okay you don't want to mix the paint too thin so guys if you do have access to any of these ready mix pouring paint or if you can afford to go grab a few and you know do your own testing it will work all right it will work but remember you have to i'm gonna this is my first video i in this in this in today's video guys i am i'm doing three different experiments this is my first experiment this is experiment one Okay, I know it's a long video and I'm so sorry. I, I was gonna just, you know, post it separate, but then I said, you know what? Uh, I, I rather just do it this way because I use similar colors from the different paint brands to show you the comparison too as well. So I just thought, you know what, one video, hey, if you really want to learn, if, if this is something for you, I know you will watch it all the way to the end. If this is not for you guys, I understand. I'm, I really want to apologize for a long video. This is not me doing a long video because I know um, viewers have short attention span. <laughs> and I know that 
we youtubers we um fluid artists we do show a lot of repetition we you know we do the same videos all the time it's only because we know that there's there are people out there who are willing to learn and who wants to learn the technique so they will continue watching so i am you know targeting those people who really want to learn this technique okay um also you know what i really want to challenge those big artists out there like molly from molly artistry uh fiona from fiona art olga from olga sobe art you know to try this technique you know why i want them to try this technique guys to i want to show you my viewers that these are skills that you have to learn so even though i come up with this technique and molly who has been doing her various techniques like she does a lot of um blow dryer techniques you know she does a lot of dutch pour and she loves working with blues i haven't seen an artist who love the color blue oh my gosh she's just she's she's just all about the blues and fiona from fiona art she loves doing flowers i'm pretty sure that probably fiona tried this but maybe she's not getting the results she wants so maybe she doesn't want to post it but i'm, I'm challenging these big artists um, to try it and show the viewers that you know what Camila Moy came up with this technique I tried her technique the the spoon swipe Dahlia and this is the result I got you know because um, people are trying and they're thinking that oh my god I can't for, for the life of me I for the life of me I can't get it I don't know what she's doing differently guys I'm not doing anything differently I just want to show you right now using these ready mix pouring paint as you saw, I just poured straight from the bottle. Okay, um, you know, it's just how you swipe. Okay, and the consistency of the paint. Those are the only two main factors that will determine your dahlias and how they come out. Okay, so there's nothing to it. You just need some practice, right? Um, I want to give a shout out to um, Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out she tried this technique and she got great results thank you so much julie for taking the time out to try one of my, my my dahlias you know i really do appreciate it and of course i want to give a shout out to gina um my beautiful friend gina de luca she loves creating painting acrylic painting with cells and she has the most patience i'm telling you guys she's so patient when she's doing her um her pores she takes her time and she does her tilting she takes her time to stretch her paint you know what guys she tried one of my dahlia pour as well okay she tried it and it worked for her maybe you can go ahead and watch it because she does have a cheat sheet where she um she tells you about the consistency in the paint and gina slid my spoon swipe dahlia thank you so much gina for you know trying my technique and showing the world that it works okay so guys there's no secret <laughs> i'm gonna hide anything and i'm just so happy to you know show you that trying i'm um, using it with um doing the sorry doing the spoon swipe dahlia with ready mix pouring paint can work all right but in this experiment experiment number one you will see that i am mixing up all these paint and the result was not what i was going for <laughs> so check it out guys i i was in awe when i saw this and i'm like you know i'm just gonna keep going i did not stop because i wanted to show you the result so you'll be seeing the dried result of all three all right so do stick around guys and let me know what you think about this one so here i've started swiping and i was loving these outer petals until i noticed that my deco art paint and my color art paint was getting eaten up by that um artist love black i don't know what it is it was just um creating so much cells and lacing and i guess this is just from the paints reacting with each, with each other you know and this is not what i wanted uh right now it looks like um some crazy insect some crazy bug 
went out on a eating spree and they just started to eat up my dahlia <laughs> you know so my outer edges were just you know just just disappearing on me and for the like of me i just thought oh my goodness let me just keep going and i keep swiping it over i keep stretching that um that that lavender across the black end you know it just was not working out um the way i had hoped um for it to work out so i keep i keep swiping you know if you if you realize guys i didn't even put any more paint down i keep swiping the pedals out i'm like okay i'm gonna fix this i'm gonna fix this let's see let's see let's see this was my first attempt using this ready mix pouring paint and i just you know was hoping for a better reaction but as you can see the more i swipe the more lacing the more the, the paint start to thin and i keep losing my pedals so i kept going because i want to show you um what's going to happen the end result and you know try to come up with a conclusion that you know mixing these ready mix pouring paint is just that they're already ready mixed and they have different um pouring mediums in them that's reacting because i've used different brand paints in my dahlia spoon swipe and nothing like it, it worked you know why because i used that one pouring medium to mix all the colors right so i kept going that's my second layer and as you can see i didn't show okay that that purple actually was the artist loved ready mix pour purple because I keep losing the color. So I thought, okay, let me just add some of that um, ready mix purple. And I started getting a better, you know, result. But then the purple started to react with the neon, sorry, with that um, fuchsia. So I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. So I fast forward this section just to show you guys quickly the, um, close-up of the wet result and the dried result so you guys can see the end result of this painting so stick around all right so here it is dried this is my experiment number one and here's a dried result the colors are still pretty and yes my dahlia uh, got infested with bugs it got eaten up somehow the paint react with each other did not give me a great result and i was not happy with this one but i do love the colors what do you guys think let me know about um, what you think about this experiment number one in the comment section below all right you guys thank you so much and let's check out experiment number two using just um, one brand of paint so do check it out guys let me know all right guys welcome back this is my experiment number two using the same size canvas i'm using a 10 inch round canvas and this time i'll be using only artist loft ready mix pouring paint beautiful colors and i'll be showing you how i layer the base colors on the canvas and i'll be using two base color for this experiment all right this, these beautiful colors guys black turquoise neon pink and uh, purple all right so do check it out so in love i do hope you guys love it i will be using uh, purple as one of my base color and black as the second base color for this one all right and you just really want to spread this paint thinly all right this is very very important guys all right whenever you're doing your dahlias make sure that you, you you um spread that base color thin it should be the same consistency but just spread it a bit thin because the purpose of getting a beautiful flower too guys is when you swipe you don't want to leave too much paint on the canvas and at the same time you don't want to take away too much <laughs> i don't want to confuse you but yes you don't want to leave too much because you know this is the fluid art this is the acrylic pour technique and we don't want to leave in in all the techniques guys we don't want to leave too much paint on the canvas you know we really don't want to because when it's drying sometimes 
a shift and it change your design or it can dry and crack or, this, it, it, or it might take long to dry so these are some stuff that i learned as i go and i want to share with you do not leave too much paint on the canvas doesn't matter all right if you're tilting tilt it off tilt off as much as you can if you're spinning just try and spin it off if you're swiping try and swipe off as much as you can this is just the beauty of the fluid art the acrylic pour painting world <laughs> This is what I've learned and I just want to show you. So I'm using a spoon right now to just um, spread this paint. And if I do see my canvas exposing, I know that I've, I've, you know, spread it too thinly. All right. So here I am just going with the black and, you know, okay, guys, did you see how I spend all that time doing the edge of the canvas for my first experiment and yet still that one didn't come out you know the way I wanted to this time I decided and for this and for my third experiment too I decided you know I'm not gonna spend that much time doing the edge of the canvas you know so I'm just swiping the top layer and then I'll be just doing the edge after you know sometimes um when I when I'm doing it and I don't show on camera yes I do cover the entire canvas because sometimes when you swipe that pedal might actually go over the side of the canvas which creates such a beautiful effect too right but i was trying to be careful not to swipe too far that the pedals go over um each canvas you know go over the sides so you will see that in this experiment and in experiment number three as well all right and i'm using a spoon to quickly spread the black base and one thing i can tell you about the artists love ready mix pouring paint guys wow they have such a sheen to it i just love it especially when they're dry oh my gosh they're just so beautiful very glossy i love glossy look all right so i am i was very pleased with the way this one turned out so do check it out and let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below i wanted to pour these paint, these paints in my one inch cup because um, I don't want to pour straight from the bottle, you know, to, to create that circle. I get a I get a better control using the cup to actually um, like actually pouring from the cup instead of pouring from the actual bottle itself. So I was just using these two colors, um, the neon pink and the turquoise, that I will be pouring around the the purple right now. That's in that's my second base. And I'll be just pouring these colors. The consistency of these ready mix paints, <laughs> they're not thick, as you can see. They're they're thin. They leave a mount and then they quickly disappear. Uh, yeah, these paints are very thin, and I think they're so uh, what's the word I'm trying to transparent. You can actually they they're just so thin and they work great with each other, you know. Um, but let's just see you know let me let let let's watch together we watch this video let me know what you think of this result and i'm telling you guys the color combination was just amazing i just i was happy to actually choose these colors to do the style i love it love it love it really do love it this neon pink against the black is just amazing and see guys um i'm swiping and these paints they're not even as thick as my regular consistency when I'm mixing my Dahlia. But look at that. The petals are holding the shape. Why do you think? This is my reasoning. I think because all the paints have the same consistency. So the black has the same consistency as the colors that I'm swiping across it. So it glides and you know, nothing is getting eaten up. Nothing is sinking, nothing. Everything stays the way it is when I swipe. That's my theory. <laughs> I haven't done this part enough, but I think that's the reason why, you know, the petals are holding the shape. And that's what you want to, guys. Whenever you do the, the spoon swipe dahlias, you want to make sure that the petals do hold their shape. If you find that when you swipe and your petals are getting eaten up, hmm, check your consistency because it could be that, you know, maybe your white base or maybe your base color you're using is too heavy, too thin, whatever it is. And um, the colors are, you know, losing their petals their shape <laughs> what am i saying 
but yeah do always check your consistency all right guys i know it's it's a lot but do check it and i'm really happy to show you these results from these great ready mix pouring paints that if you want you can just head out to my calls or wherever you can get these paints and try for yourself and see that oh my gosh it worked all right i do want you guys to try i don't want you to give up on this technique because the possibilities are endless guys you can create a beautiful flower garden using just this technique okay uh, I know I'm just showing you one dahlia on one uh, small round canvas, but this is the way it is. As you learn this basic step, you can go ahead and create a beautiful dahlia stem, a dahlia um, bouquet, whatever it is, just beautiful flowers in a bunch with leaves and stems, whatever it is. But just learn by just simple creating one dahlia on a canvas. You can always use a square canvas, um, like a 10 by 10, a 12 by 12, or you can use a 16 by 20 inch canvas and practice these things. You don't have to do it on a round canvas. I just like the round canvas. I love the vintage look of round canvas. I have a lot. <laughs> so never mind. As some viewer told me that it looks like I'm decorating cake. Hmm. It does. But um, I do love my round canvases, guys. I, um, I don't know. They're perfect for my dahlias <laughs> and my dahlia bouquets and stuff like that. But check this out guys see how the I just love how beautiful the petals look how you know define and you know when you're swiping as well swipe with the outer edge of the spoon all right guys and be as light-handed as you can uh, check your spoon as well too guys because you know what I'm using um, a disposable spoon a plastic spoon and it's very light i bought some at the dollar store the other day and they're heavier than this one i'm using that's why if you see my spoon is all messy and dirty you say oh my god can't camille change your spoon guys listen i love this one i i it's a pack of maybe 24 or something and they're all dirty like that okay because i let the paint dry on it and i don't have time to scrub it so pardon me okay <laughs> but check the check your spoon as well because if your spoon is heavy in your hand you, you, you're probably gonna want to swipe too too hard against that background and you know not get the defined petals that you're really going for swipe with the edge of the spoon guys and you'll be fine okay just be light-handed just let it glide and just watch that beauty the tip of the petals do come from how i swipe is is it uh, you know you guys can see that i didn't do anything else but just swipe all right i do use the skewer to um just draw lines in between just to cut the petals like in between each petals and just to make it look a little bit more realistic wow guys check this out check out that neon pink wow it's just glowing and the purple with that turquoise oh my gosh guys i love 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 this one and then i added some gold in the middle there wow this is just outstanding love the transparency of this um artist love paint so beautiful they blend well and the petals are so clean i love it i really do love this one so stunning let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below remember this is experiment number two all right don't go away here comes experiment number three guys and let me know which is your favorite at the end of the video all right so do leave me a comment guys i do expect my comment section to be flooded because this is gearing towards people my viewers who are really trying and who are in love with dahlias and who love dahlia flowers and who really want to learn this technique okay guys so this video is for you so go ahead and leave me a comment section below and let me know what you think and here comes experiment number three all right guys you made it to experiment number three <laughs> so happy that you guys are here with me um to expert to see experiment number three and the result so happy so loving this one oops i didn't even show you guys the consistency but hey the consistency of this paint i find that um with the deco art com in comparison to the artist love 
these paints they're not that glossy they are a bit on the heavier side um, heavy as in the consistency is a bit on the it does leave a mount it's a little bit thicker all right um, I do love this consistency it's, th it's still thinner than my usual the way how I would mix the paints for my Dahlia spoon swipe but I do love how heavy they feel and they are more opaque hmm I think so I think they're more opaque than the artist love artist love are more translucent more transparent more I don't know that's the word I'm trying to figure out they they're you know but in comparison these deco art paint they're more opaque and because and, and why I can tell you that is that whenever I'm covering the canvas with them like right now the pink I don't even see the white canvas um, showing through this when I was using that purple as my second base for the artist loft I could see when I use my spoon to, to spread I could see the black canvas the white canvas showing through same thing with the black I could see um, the white canvas showing through with this black this black is called jet black Ooh, jet black is so deep and honestly guys it covers the canvas so well it is so beautiful I love it <laughs> I love it I love it so much honestly like you don't need to use a lot I'm telling you it is just so beautiful this Decker art paint Decker art paint is really my favorite brand I don't know I should get I, sh I should be affiliated somehow with Decker art I'm always using their paints but yeah man I do love how they cover my canvas and I do love how the fact that I don't have to use a lot that's the most important so check it out and here I am just you know barely covering the edges because I say you know I don't want to you know spend too much time covering the edges but um, you know I still barely cover just a bit because I just want to flow just in case whenever I swipe the petals and it do decide to go over the edge you know it will have a flow so check it out guys I do love it this is um, neon pink and uh, jet black by Deco art for my base and then you're gonna see the colors coming up next so these two colors that I'll be working with they are uh, blue violet and um, bright violet <laughs> two beautiful shades and they're just so gorgeous so beautiful love it love it love it and um, guys when it when I finished this one I was just in awe I couldn't choose I couldn't decide which Dahlia was my favorite okay I couldn't decide if it was the artist loft or if it was the deco art but I do hope you guys you know have your favorite and that you can tell me in the comment section which is your favorite and I want you to tell me as well that you're gonna go ahead and try you know say Camille you know what thank you I'm gonna head out to the store I'm gonna go buy you know some paint some ready mix pouring paint because I just for the like of me I cannot get the consistency so let me go try the ready mix pouring paint thank you so much that's what I hope you guys will say in the comment section so here I am just swiping and I just love 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 these petals and how you know um, define their look and as you guys, guys can see I'm swiping with the outer edge of my spoon and I am swiping really lightly so light-handed as I swipe okay I'm not um, going into deep in the paint and it's okay if at the tip of the petals you do get the black um, showing through it just helps to create some character and it does make the petals look more lifelike okay so Give it a try guys let me know in the comment section um, what you think about this and of course the color combination whatever it is let me know what you guys love about today's content so i've sped up this section um for your convenience guys i don't want you to you know get too frustrated oh my god i'm watching the same thing oh. but hey if you want to learn you just have to really pay attention and um, you know just just watch and just watch and learn all right so I will see you guys for the close-up of the wet result of my experiment number two and three and of course I'll be showing you the dried result at the end so 
stick around guys and i will see you for the close-up Here it is, the close-up. Woohoo, guys, <laughs> I love it. I just love how realistic this Dahlia look. I love how the petals look. I love how big and beautiful. And I do love how, you know, this um, Deca Art Ready to Pour paint worked. It worked well, and I'm so happy. I'm so thrilled to be sharing this with you guys. You guys have no excuse now, okay? no more excuse i don't want to hear it on facebook i do not want to hear it when i post that you guys cannot get it i, I expect on facebook that you guys will be sending me great result that you've tried this and you know what this is your guys listen show it to me okay what do you think it's beautiful or not i want to see your progress please send it to me let me see it share with the world guys try it and let me know okay and of course the dried result i just want to tell you guys that this first one that you're looking at with the blue and the lavender and the purple guys i did a video for it and my video got lost i deleted it by accident and this one was using the deco art paint so that one i did before i did my my um my third experiment so this is my Decor, decor art experiment number three and um yes beautiful result i just wanted to use a different color combination to show you guys that you know what it worked and i'm so happy i love it i love this color against the black i think using a black background really enhance the beauty of any artwork okay it really brings out the beauty guys beautiful 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 i'm so in love and of course, here is the Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paint. And you can see how the colors blended well together. Um, I think I had way too much paint at one point. So my, my, my petals started to sway a bit in some areas, meaning that it was shifting while it was drying. And that's why I keep telling you guys not too much paint. Don't leave too much paint on the canvas. Beautiful, guys. Let me know which is your favorite. Can I tell you my favorite? <laughs> I love them all. I honestly love them all. I, they're just so unique. They're different. 
and this is why i keep telling you guys that all my dahlias are unique they're all different the colors are beautiful and i'm so happy to get to share this experience with the world and thank you guys so much for sticking around with me all the way to the end you made it to the end guys thank you so much and i will see you next time on camila my art bye